Hello, in this video I will review the 3 inch boring head and the 12 boring bar set. I had to buy this set to be able to drill these holes precisely. I will show you some footage of me drilling these holes and then I will talk more about it. <laughs> A single contact point boring bar will give you more accurate finish because it will give you a vertical hole you know to the work if you use a reamer or a drill bit it may wander so this will give you a very precise hole and as you see I had to extend or use the longest boring bar because this over here very deep I had to weld these two pieces together so I don't have to worry about these holes being parallel to each other because this over here contain two pieces they will be about three and a half inches away from each other and this really worked out great before I drill these holes I practice with this boring head I put a sacrificial piece these boring bars they don't have an index so you could install them you know however As you see, this over here is rounded or the shank. If I set this at a positive rake, it will chatter and it give rough finish. If I set it to neutral, it does the same thing. The best finish I got out of this boring bar by set the carbide or the cemented brazed uh, cutting edge at a negative rake. And this gave me a very smooth and mirror finish. And as you see, it came with all these different sizes, bar and bar. It really left a good finish. This tool came in this plastic box, which it does excellent job organizing this set. It came with these three Allen wrenches. To adjust the boring head, it 12 boring bars at different length, you know, based on the job you're doing. My milling machine has the R8 shank, so I bought it with the R8 shank. And really, this worked out great for my need. And I thought to share my experience with you all. Thank you for watching. Be safe and have a good day.